I'm starting it. Super sweaty and gross. But I didn't actually intend on vlogging today, hence why I'm vlogging on my phone. So I decided to go on a run and then mid run, I just felt so much better. So I was like, okay, I'll vlog. And I also realized today's my last day of law school. Absolutely wild because even if we were on campus, like a normal semester, it still would be my last day. Like I, uh, I still have two actual tests to take and one essay to turn in. It's my last day of classes, hence my last day of law school, which is so, so wild. But as I said, it's 11 o'clock. I finished my run. And now I'm going to go to the grocery store just because I went to Target on Friday and got most of the stuff we need. But they just like didn't have some things. And also I feel like I've said this before, but Target, unless they're doing sales, like buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one, whatever. It's just like way more expensive for some things. So there's just some frozen stuff and like some drinks I want to get. Vitamin water, Celsius, iced coffee, things like that. So... I'm gonna head there, I'm gonna open my windows because I'm super sweaty, and then go home. All right, I'm just leaving Stop and Shop, got the bags. I got a lot of stuff to actually cook. Um, shocking, I know. Because as today is my last day of classes, I unfortunately now, like, I now have all this time on my hands, which I've kind of had anyways, but um i just kind of like want to eat meals again and not eat random foods so we'll see how that goes i got all of the ingredients to make these pepper onion pineapple skewers with chicken which sounds like a random combination but they're really good and corey has made them in the past so it kind of became like our thing if we ever had a barbecue like that's what we would make and i really want them so i got all the ingredients for that and I got vodka sauce to do like penny all vodka one night. I have a few boxes of Bonza pasta at home, which is the chickpea like protein pasta. I've just been feeling like making something actually good to eat for dinner. That's it. I'm gonna go home and uh, put everything away. So this is some of what I got. These are from Target. These seltzers are really good. Some Celsius, coffee creamer iced coffee someone asked which one this one is this is the Calif califia i guess califia cold brew i really like it it's the only cold brew they sell in stores that actually tastes like cold brew i got this one the other time because it didn't have anything else but it really doesn't taste like much then there's some eggs i got some diet coke you know just feeling it some snapple jesse eats this in the morning like with eggs so I got that for him and I got chicken to make my skewers we have some guac back there they also got two of these cauliflower pizzas because they're on sale for seven dollars which is still a lot of money in my opinion for a cauliflower pizza but they're really really good really nothing else in there is new and then I just have some stuff in here mainly to make actual meals and then just some fiber one brownies of course so I'm trying to sit outside and do my homework for today's class, but it's so cold and windy. So I think I'm going to have to move this party inside because my computer is literally like going to blow away. And look at that big cloud rolling in. All right, guys. I took a shower, which you probably can't even tell because I put the same sweatshirt back on, but you guys know I live in my morning toast merch. It's just so comfy. Took a shower, put a little bit of makeup on because I have to do my presentation today in my white collar crimes class. It's just a sentencing presentation. It's not like a final project or anything. Um, so I didn't want to look like actual garbage and I felt so gross after going grocery shopping. I just had to take a shower and I'm also like extremely sunburnt, like really, really sunburnt just here. Because I was wearing a tank top on Saturday and I'm sitting on my deck facing the sun. Wow, that was a big mistake. And then I went on a run Sunday, which made it worse. <laughs> but I was wearing sunscreen, so I don't know. Maybe the sunscreen's like not good because the sunburn is terrible. Did my makeup, got ready. It's 2.14. I don't really like have anything to do. I have to write a paper for this class as my final, but... 
I'm hoping to hand it in on Friday just to like finish it up this week but it's really not going to take me very long. I already wrote the intro because my essay bar prep class, the final isn't available I think until Thursday and then my multiple choice bar prep class isn't, the test is on the 12th so we have time. I want to print out one of my weekly to-do list sort of things or weekly planners and fill it out. I don't really know what my habits are. Like drink water, yeah, intermittent fast, yeah. But since I don't have any like allotted things to do other than that, I don't really know. Because I don't like to put work out every day on it because I don't work out every day. I work out like five, four or five, four or five or six times a week. I don't work out every day. And I don't want to force myself to because then after like let's say by some stroke of luck, I really did work out every day. Next week, I'm not going to want to do it. Running late to my last class. I mean, just kidding. But usually, I'm, I like to be like prepared for Zoom 40 minutes early because I have anxiety. However, I was editing a vlog, which I filmed last Tuesday. So I could upload that today, and my back really hurts because whenever I sit in that chair for a long amount of time, I start to hunch over. And then I have to recover by laying down. And I'm just really concerned as to why I have so many emails. Okay, well, I don't need to know about summer courses because I will not be in any of this. S financial aid holding a student loan course. No thanks. Okay, and then another thing about summer classes, which I won't be taking. You know what I'm like wondering? They never like tell you that you're going to graduate. You never get an email saying like you're graduating. And for some reason, that's really concerning to me. Like, what if I missed one thing and now I'm not graduating? But I can't see what that would possibly be. But now I'm worried, of course. So I'm going to have to email someone at the school. Just like that, I'm done with law school, but I'm not actually done because I have three finals, so. But now I'm gonna make dinner. And I just had some cauliflower pizza that Jesse made because he was starving. And my stomach hurts. Cauliflower always makes my stomach hurt, but I eat it time and time again. Can you help me? Please. I don't have to do it. Look at it. Grace. Laying in bed, yeah, wow, my hair was really adding some mega height. And I forgot to tell you guys that I have to register for the bar exam today. 12 a.m., it, it's technically on like May 5th. It starts at 12 a.m. And there's just really limited seats this year because obviously they don't want to like have overcrowded places. And the only people who are allowed to take it in New York are the people who went to law school in New York. And it has to be like your first time taking it. And I think that's it. So, if, like, I think if you failed the first time, like, you can't take it in September because they're trying to offer it to, like, first round people who went to school in New York. But that being said, there's still limited seating. So we have to sign up 
ASAP and I don't want to wake up tomorrow at like seven and then have missed being able to sign up. And I don't think I would be, but you just never know. So I'm going to have to stay up till 12, which is really late for me. But the past two nights have been up until 12 anyways. Having some diet snap while I'm really trying to not snack after dinner. I had like a pretty big dinner. I had pasta and I had cauliflower pizza. Not the whole thing, but like I shouldn't be hungry right now, but I am. Anyways, I'm still uploading a video. It's taking forever. And that's my only update. I just wanted to tell you guys that I have to sign up for the bar exam because I totally forgot. And that could have been a good topic of the vlog. And now it's too late. Last night I stayed up until 12 o'clock and I registered for the bar exam. All went well. I was able to register, pay the $250 fee or, you know, whatever to sign up. And I'm fully signed up and you don't choose your location. I'm assuming, sorry, Peach, of course, has to be loud and annoying. I don't know when you choose your location. Usually if it was going to be in July, I think you would choose it at the very beginning. I think you would choose at the very beginning of July. And for some reason, I thought that yesterday we would be choosing location just because of the new regulations. I thought that you would just do it all at once. But I guess they're just doing rolling applications from the 5th to the 15th. And then after that, I think it's cut off. And maybe you can choose your location after that. I don't really know. But I'm just glad I'm signed up and I'm able to take it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed seeing my last day of law school. A lot of you guys have been watching since my first day of law school. So thanks for sticking around. The journey is not over. We have finals and we have bar prep. Well, we have finals and then we have like a month of fun summer. Not that we can leave our house, but fun summer. And then we have bar prep and then, oh my God, Peach is going to knock my camera over. I literally can't. After the bar exam's over, it's going to be full wedding content, moving content, possibly job content. I mean, that's very, very determinative, determinative on the market. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going to be working. That's not something we're going to talk about today. So there's a lot more to come. It's not the end of our journey here on Lipsticks and Lattes. It's just the beginning because I never intended this just to be a law school channel. That's just like what it turned into because that's what the past three years of my life have been. But now it's going to be a lot of studying still, but lifestyle content, fitness, fashion, getting married, and Peach is moving my camera again, so that's my cue to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really close to 53,000, so subscribe if you aren't. Follow me on Instagram, because once I hit 15,000 followers on Instagram, I will be doing a giveaway, so I'm almost at 12,000 right now. Follow if you want a giveaway. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't. I said that four times, probably, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And here's Peach. She's literally a log. She takes up the entire windowsill. And I don't know what she's looking at.